Hi, nice to meet you. I'm Ariana. Hi, Ariana. How are you? My awesome. name is Dreidri. Dreidri, nice to meet you. So how did you become a part of the Cold and Windy show? Um, So I became a part of Cold and Windy because I was referred by a friend. Um, I was an up-and-comer, um, just kind of shopping my own music around, and it got a, a Got around to some some ears and one of my friends who heard some of my personal music thought that it would be a great additive to maybe some background fillers in the show um and that turned into me writing for the project so it's been a fun journey how's it like writing music for a project not just a different artist like a completely different project in this fictional world compared to writing music for yourself I actually like it better. Um, sometimes I feel like when I'm writing music for myself, I'm safe in the regards of how I want to express myself publicly so that I'm not, you know, so that it's me. I kind of keep myself in a little bit of a safe zone sometimes, I find. And writing for people or writing for this project allowed me to express myself in different characters. I mean, it was so fun. So I got to see what it was like to be a male rapper or like, you know, just an unfiltered girl that like, you know, does this or a girl that does that. I got to express myself in different ways as opposed to just being myself. Um, and again, personally, I feel like I'm always trying to push myself to not be in the safe zone. So this project definitely helped me with that. Yeah. Who would you say your style is more similar to? Or it could be completely different. Would it be Malika or Renee? Definitely Renee. I mean, like Renee, when I was writing my music, a lot of it I probably would have used personally, honestly. Um, I just feel like her music is a little bit more rough around the edges, a little bit more hardcore, a little bit more in your face. Her verses are like that. Um, and that's definitely what mine are personally as well. Um, my music is typically just an, exp an expression of my experience just being an inner city South Sider of, of Chicago. So, I mean, my music correlates to that. And it's a total contrast of what my image would be like on social media. And a lot of people are surprised by that when they hear my personal projects. So definitely, Renee. Yes. But r when writing for Malika, how did you take the approach? Because she's a bit softer and sensual at least to me this was so fun because with Malika I was able to channel my social media self because <laughs> on social media I'm like this you know like this and this social media model this influencer and that like real cutesy and all that so I was able to channel that into the lyrics and just make it real like you know girly and really you know but still this girl is from the south side of Chicago, so I had to be mindful of that. So, but that's me, you know? So that part was fun. It was like, they were able to express like two sides of my alter egos, which was, it was so fun doing that. Yeah, it's funny. I looked at your social media before. I'm like, oh, like this is Malika, like this kind of vixen um, social media thing. So I yeah. definitely got that vibe too. Um, as far as personalities while watching the show, who do you relate to more, Malika or Renee? As far as personality, I would definitely, again, have to go with Renee. <laughs> I mean, like in my personal life, I hang with a lot of guys. You know, when I was, when me inside of Chicago growing up, I was always like outside on the block, on the stoop, you know, just like I felt like I was one of the guys. So I would definitely relate to, I was one of those like, you know, I'm a ride or die friend, one of those. So definitely would have to go with, um, but then but then again, there is a, a Malika side of me. There's a side where like, I did go through a transition of wanting to change my life and like elevate myself and learn new parts of myself, which is how I got to this project. So honestly, both of them relate to me. I mean, I can't choose. Yeah, I feel like I aspire to be as unbothered as Renee seems to be. Yeah, but then there's that Malika side of you that you can't ignore. It's like, <laughs> she's still there. Yes. And what's great about the show and what I love about it is that it definitely 
it's not just set in Chicago. It has a lot of the history of Chicago and Chicago music. How would you describe Chicago music and its sound and drill music? Um, I think that there's there's different elements of Chicago music. So there was the, and this is just my experience growing up. There, there was the twist the do or die that that era the shauna you know that era cella that era and then there there's also chicago drill music i'm sorry chicago juke music mm -hmm. so that the chicago juke is just like parties you know people dancing on each other like kids having parties together and then there's also um chicago old school dusty kind of music like um the house party Chicago's really big for house music. You know, so growing up in the house, I would hear a lot of house music. Um, but then when I, what they say, jumped off the porch, I remember like my first relation to music personally was when Chief Keef Don't Like came out. Oh, like I remember everybody playing that. I just remember we knew all the lyrics, we would wrap it off, and then it just kind of graduated from there. Um, so yeah, there's different elements before we got to drill. So there's been an evolution. I, I can't put Chicago music into one category because I've honestly lived through an evolution of it. But yeah, yeah my, my first jump off the porch was definitely the Chief Keith era. What does jump off the porch mean? Because I'm from Detroit and I've never heard that before. So I, it's it's like your first like step out when you finally start to like discover yourself, basically. So when I, got, when I went through self-discovery, like when I'm like styling myself, becoming me, that was the song I was getting dressed to. Those were the artists as we were playing. When my friends and I jumped in the car, we're going to parties. We're playing Katie Got Bands, King Louie, those artists. So those were the first for us. I need to be in my jump off the porch era. I love that. Yeah, you got to jump <laughs> off the porch. <laughs> I love that. Uh, so also, I feel like a lot of times when people think of hip hop, they only think of kind of three cities. Um, LA, Atlanta, and New York. How does it feel like to kind of be a part of this movement for Chicago to get more attention? Man, I'm so, first of all, they let us in the door and we never left, okay? <laughs> so we kicked through the door in like 2011, 12, mm -hmm. and we've been here like all the way through. I mean, one of the biggest hip hop artists right now is Lil Durk, a Chicago Southside native. So I'm proud of us. I'm really proud of us. I mean, now you can't mention hip hop without mentioning Chicago. And I'm just proud of us. I mean, I understand the negative kind of the, the negative content or the negative, you know, aura or things that come from drill music. But honestly, I look at how many of us were saved because we were able to just embark on that journey of creating instead of being and you know in the hood outside we were able to find a different outlet so I'm proud of us for sure and what would you say is your favorite song that you wrote for the show blowing blowing yeah blowing is definitely one of my favorite and then there's a song um doves up oh my god I love that song so much it hasn't aired yet so I don't want to give too much about it but it is honestly one of my I still listen to it so I play it. Yeah. Awesome. Well, congrats yeah. on this project. It was so great talking to you. I hope to talk to you in the future about this project and your own. And congrats again. Thank you so much. Anytime. Thank you so much. I'm super excited. Um, I just want to thank everybody for viewing Code and Wendy. This is, man, this, I, this is super surreal for me. I can't even believe that this is, sometimes I feel like I'm watching my own documentary, but thank you so much. I really appreciate it. No problem. And I'm so happy for you. More to come, I'm sure. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you. Bye. Thanks.